Hey guys, today we're going to be taking a look at the brand new Tortuga laptop backpack, which is meant to be kind of the ideal personal item that could fit under the seat in front of you on a flight. This is a category of bag that Tortuga has always excelled in. I feel like their bags have actually been kind of underrated when I think about bags like the Set Out laptop backpack and the Outbreaker laptop backpacks. Those are two of my favorites of the past couple of years. They've now been discontinued and replaced with this new bag here, which I've had a chance to test out over the past couple of weeks. In this video, I'm gonna be talking about my experience using it. I'll show you how I've loaded it out, walk through all the features, and I'll also talk about how it compares to some of the other similar items that are currently on the market. Before jumping into the video, if you're new here, welcome. My name is Danny, and on this channel, we love reviewing popular travel and everyday carry gear. If you like these types of videos and you'd be interested in seeing more, please consider subscribing as it helps the channel out a lot. So with all that being said, let's go ahead and jump in. Starting off with the outside of the bag, I really like the overall aesthetic. Like Tortuga's larger travel backpack, this has a pretty modern, minimal, and sleek aesthetic. It's a versatile look that I think is gonna work well in a variety of environments, whether you're using this for going into the office, exploring the outdoors, walking around the city, or traveling. As far as the materials, the bag feels really solidly built. The exterior fabric is Tortuga's 200 shell sailcloth which feels like it's gonna hold up well to rougher usage and also offer a ton of weather resistance. Really feels like everything here is gonna be protected from the elements. And then you also have some really nice aqua guarded YKK zippers all throughout. Continuing along the outside of the bag, I was happy to see that you have two external water bottle pockets, one on each side, and these offer a pretty good amount of space. I was able to fit the same 20 ounce water bottle that I've been using as of late pretty comfortably and there is enough elasticity that I think a slightly larger bottle could have squeezed in as the main compartment gets more packed out. This starts to become a little bit tighter but you can see that there is a nice amount of stretch here with the mesh that's been used. You have this little loop at the top to make it a little bit easier to pull it open and I like that because it has this elasticity the pockets hug the bag when they're not in use to maintain a cleaner overall look. On the front of the bag, you have a couple of attachment points. Near the bottom, you have one that's gonna be great for maybe clipping on a bike light. And then near the top, you have two attachment points that are gonna pair nicely with a carabiner if you wanna hang on a hand sanitizer or other accessories. As far as the capacity, the bag comes in at about 24 liters, which is a really versatile size in my opinion. That's typically the size that I like for EDC as it gives me a little bit of extra capacity without feeling overwhelmingly big and it easily holds all the items that I typically carry with me. And I like that even when the bag is a little bit more packed out, it maintains a pretty slim silhouette, making it great for navigating crowded areas, jumping onto public transit and carrying on to most domestic and international airlines. Taking a look at the straps and the back paneling, so far the bag has been pretty comfortable to wear. The harness system here has been updated from the Outbreaker and Set Out lines, and it's also a little bit different than Tortuga's newer travel backpack. Overall, it feels a little bit less robust as far as some of the padding and breathability that's been included, but still really comfortable. I had heard some feedback on some of their previous day bag size bags that the harnesses almost felt a little bit too overwhelming, so I guess Tortuga took that feedback to heart. Still, nice job on the padding here on the straps. It's pretty thick, comfortable, soft right out of the box. Not a ton of breathability on the inside, but you do have this soft fabric here, which still feels really nice. And there's a good width to the straps to help prevent them from digging into your shoulders when the bag is a little bit more packed out. On the straps, you also have a couple of elastic loops that might be a good spot to hang your sunglasses or clip on a light or other accessories. And you have an adjustable sternum strap to help distribute the weight. Moving into the back paneling, this is another area that again feels different from many of Tortuga's other bags. You have a little bit more of a rigid padding here that's well distributed all throughout the back. There's also these cutouts here and a little bit of elevation to create an air channel to give you some more ventilation while you're walking around throughout the day. So still a good amount of padding here. Again, not quite as robust as some of Tortuga's other more daily focused bag, which I'm a little bit sad to see, but I know others prefer to maybe have some of the weight savings on the bag with this newer harness system. Also on this back paneling, you have this elastic band that's gonna work as a luggage pass-through to allow you to rest this on a suitcase while traveling. One thing to kind of call out here is this band doesn't feel quite as robust and maybe durable as some of Tortuga's other luggage pass-throughs, which are a little bit more integrated into the back paneling. So I was a little bit sad to see that here just because as the bag gets more loaded out, I'd be a little bit worried about this starting to fray or tear over the longer term. Jumping into the organizational options, the bag keeps things pretty simple, but the pockets that it offers 
are very effective. I really like this layout. It reminds me of the one that was implemented in the larger travel backpack. So on the front, you have a vertically oriented zipper with a quick access pocket. This one has nice aqua guard. So you have that peace of mind. And I'm always a fan of this type of pocket as you can swing the bag around and grab something without taking it all the way off. The zipper is large enough that you can easily reach even a larger item. On the inside, there's also a good amount of volume here, even for something a little bit bulkier. When the main compartment is packed out, I was still able to place my Evergoods Civic Access Pouch one liter into here, kind of the perfect fit, as there's no internal organization here. So even though it offers a lot of space, items will tend to slide down towards the bottom if they're loose, so it's a really good spot to pair with a pouch but regardless good amount of volume and you have the bright lining on the inside so you have some good visibility and then at the top you have another quick access pocket and this one again offers just a good amount of volume so that you can store bulkier items uh, even something like my sunglasses which has a pretty big case it could take up a ton of room but it fit in there comfortably and there was still enough room for other types of accessories that I might be grabbing regularly while I'm on the go. At the moment I just have a deck of playing cards in here and then I also have the Alpaca Admin Pouch which has some EDC and tech items and in this compartment you also have a little lanyard with a plastic clip that's going to be a good spot for your keys or a multi-tool. The next area we're going to be taking a look at is the laptop compartment and this is actually incorporated into the main area but i wanted to talk about it first because you do have this large zipper along the side which allows you to access your laptop more easily without diving into the main compartment so nice implementation there you have a zipper that goes over to the top a little bit it's not quite clamshell style but i like that you have a little bit more of an opening, particularly if you have a taller or thicker device. This really makes it super easy to get your device in and out. And so this should be able to hold up to a 15 or 16 inch laptop pretty comfortably. Currently what I have here is my 13 inch MacBook Pro, but you can see there's plenty of leftover space here towards the top and you have a good amount of padding on both sides of this compartment. And it's also pulled up off the bottom of the ground. So if you place your device down a little bit harder, your device won't be making contact there. Both sides also have this soft fleece lining to help prevent against scratching. And so pulling my device out. Now with the compartment empty, you can get a better look at the inside. This does come up a decent amount. So if you happen to have a thicker device, it should be able to fit in there comfortably. And again, with the padding, the lining, and the fact that this is suspended off the bottom of the ground, it really feels like your device is gonna be well protected while you're on the go. And then the last area that we're going to be taking a look at is the main compartment. One note before jumping into that is that the zippers for the main compartment and the laptop compartment have the ability to be locked. So that'll give you just a little bit more peace of mind while you're traveling. And then this has a nice wide top loading compartment. It's not clamshell, so the zippers don't go all the way down, but you still have plenty of visibility into this 24 liters of capacity. And I really like that it has a simpler layout so it's able to hold the items that I typically carry. I have some bulkier items, some pouches, and so this is able to handle it very, very easily. Jumping into the items that I have here at the top is a packable rain jacket. Then I have my DJI Mavic Mini with its hard shell case. I have my Beats Studio wireless headphones. And then I also have the Evergood Civic Access Pouch 2 liters. Now the compartment empty, you can get a better look at the inside. And I like how much this comes up. This will also allow me to use this as a minimal travel bag. If I wanted to, I could toss in my larger compressible packing cube, a dop kit, and an extra pair of shoes and be able to go for a longer weekend trip. In this compartment, you also have some built-in organization. The first one that I'll call out is on the flap. You have a zipper that allows you to get to the top quick access pocket that I showed earlier. So this is really helpful if you open the compartment up and you don't want everything spilling out of this area because it's closed, you have the ability to reach the items that are there. If you wanna to get to your sunglasses or any pouches or other accessories that you have, this is a really nice design touch here. And on the back, you have kind of an admin area similar to the ones that we've seen on other Tortuga bags. It's a little bit more simplified, uh, but you still have a couple of different slots here that might be good for business cards in particular. I've never known what besides like business cards or maybe uh, travel ID cards, my uh, priority pass card might be something that could fit in here. I don't use these too much because it feels like stuff is just gonna maybe fall out. But next to that, you have a couple of slots that are gonna be good for something like a stylus or a pen. I currently have the Ridge Bolt Action Pen here. 
and then all the way on the left you have an elastic slip pocket that's got a nice mesh and I like the elasticity as it really allows it to mold around any of the things that you might want to store here whether it's laptop charger portable battery hard drive in this case I just have a little manicure set that I typically have with me and then you have the tablet and laptop sleeves on the back we looked at the laptop sleeve a little bit earlier and it is secured here from this side with this velcro flap that comes over both sleeves and one thing to call out here is that you don't really have an easy way to get to the tablet sleeve from the exterior that's mainly for the laptop so if you want to get to your tablet you will need to access it from the top but it's pretty easy to get to this area you have a pretty well padded sleeve here and you have a fleece lining on the back so it's going to help preventing and scratching this sleeve is also pulled up off the bottom of the ground and you have a, plenty of space here even for a larger tablet currently what i have here is my ipad mini which kind of gets swallowed up by this sleeve so if you have 10 or 11 inch tablet should be able to fit in there comfortably and then here you can get a better look at the laptop sleeve again looking at the thickness of this is really nice it helps me feel like i don't really need a case to keep my laptop safe and one of the cool things is with this is that you can access your laptop from the top and the side so if you have this under the seat in front of you on a plane and you don't want to kind of pull the bag all the way out you can just open this up from the top grab your laptop grab your tablet so really nice thoughtful design in this main area and throughout the rest of the bag i really like the layout and the aesthetic of everything and if you're in the market for a durable weather resistant and versatile bag that you're gonna be able to take with you under pretty much any flight or that's also gonna work as just a really great tech bag and this is gonna be a solid option to check out. And so to wrap up, it's been a great experience testing out the Tortuga laptop backpack over the past couple of weeks. You can currently purchase this on the company site for about $250, so definitely a little bit more premium pricing. It is gonna be an investment. You are getting a really solidly built bag with a nice feature set, but there's gonna be some other great bags in this price range that may be worth considering. And so as I was testing this out, the first bag this made me think of is the Patagonia Black Hole Pack, the 25 liter version in particular, very similar size to this, and kind of a similar layout as well. It's not gonna be as durable or well padded as this bag. It doesn't have all the same sort of premium finishing, but it is a really versatile bag at 25 liters. It's a pretty similar size. It's got the top loading compartment, a built-in tablet and laptop compartment. You can't access those from the outside like you can with this bag here. It's got a quick access pocket. Just a really versatile and impressive bag. I've really enjoyed using it over the past year or so. And if you're looking to save a little bit of money or you want something that's gonna be slightly more lightweight and simpler, then that's gonna be a solid option to consider. Another bag this made me think of is the Troubadour Pioneer backpack, which has a little bit more of a professional aesthetic. It's something that, you know, is kind of designed to work a little bit more with a suit uh, to take into an office. Not that this bag isn't, you know, really clean looking on its own, but that one just has a slightly more sophisticated vibe, in my opinion. Really durable materials. It's got a similar layout as far as having kind of this big opening top area, externally accessible laptop compartment. It's got good built-in organization external water bottle pockets, a luggage pass-through. One of the nice things that that one has that this one doesn't is a shoe compartment that will help keep your stuff separate from the other things in the main area. If you have dirty shoes, wet clothes, or anything like that. So it's a nice touch. I don't think that that one's gonna be quite as weather resistant as this bag here. And I like the laptop protection on the uh, Tortuga bag. But if you're looking for an alternative to this that's gonna give you that um, different aesthetic and that extra bonus of the shoe compartment, then that's gonna be a really solid option to take a look at. And then the last option that I'll mention here is the Evergood CTB26, which is maybe one of my favorite bags of all time. I've talked about it a bunch over the past couple of months since Evergood's released the regular version to be available for purchase on their site. I've used the collaboration version for a while now, and that's one of the most well-rounded bags that I've had a chance to test out. At 26 liters, it's gonna be a little bit bigger and bulkier than this bag here. It's pretty wide compared to it, but it can hold a little bit more. It actually has a full clamshell opening, so it's gonna be a little bit easier to pack out for travel. It's got two really nice external water bottle pockets, super comfortable and breathable harness system. The laptop compartment offers a ton of protection. It's suspended 
and it just has one of the best organizational layouts of any bag that I've used as far as offering multiple quick access pockets. Everything has its own independent volume. So really just has all the bells and whistles, very durable, very comfortable. It is gonna be a little bit more expensive than this, but if you have the higher budget and you need something that's a little bit more spacious, then that's gonna be a fantastic option to consider. With that being said, the Tortuga laptop backpack holds up pretty well against all those options. And if you're looking for a durable, weather resistant bag that's gonna offer a nice amount of space, good laptop protection, and that's gonna work particularly well as a personal item on a flight that you can place under the seat in front of you, and this is gonna be one of the best options to check out. And I'm definitely curious to hear what you all think of the all new Tortuga laptop backpack and how it compares to some of the other great tech and EDC bags that are currently on the market. And if there's any similar options that you think I should check out, as always, please let me know in the comments. And I want to thank the company for sending the bag for me to test out and to you guys for watching and supporting the channel. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a like. And if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any upcoming videos. And we'll see you in the next one.